Let down occur now because they have a one game lead in the Colonial Division. These are all Colonial Division games. They count just the same as, as uh, defeating a Shippensburg or Waynesboro. Um, so the biggest thing here is to continue to play their game. Our pregame show is brought to you by Antrim Insurance, your local Erie insurance agent serving Greencastle, Waynesboro, Chambersburg, Mercersburg, and surrounding Pennsylvania and Maryland areas. Antrim Insurance, 169 South Antrim Way, Greencastle, and 1685 East Main Street in Waynesboro. We'll be right back after this to take a look at the starting lineups for tonight's game. This is the FNM Trust Sports Network on midpenbroadcasting.com. The sports page dot blog, WRGG 93.7 FM and WRGG.org. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Had an auto accident? It's common to wonder how things could have turned out differently if only. No regrets. If only you had Erie Insurance. With Erie, instead of regrets, you can focus on putting your mishap behind no you. With an Erie Rate Lock Auto Policy, your rate won't take a hit no matter what. It stays put until you change a car, driver, or address. People who treat you fairly, legendary service, great rates. That's what it means to have seriously good insurance for your auto, home, or business. Erie Insurance. See for yourself why Erie received the J.D. Power Award for highest in customer satisfaction with the auto insurance purchase experience three years in a row. Your Erie agent in Greencastle and Waynesboro is Antrim Insurance Agency. Get a quote at antruminspa.com. Erie Rate Lock is not available in all states. Limited to three years in Virginia. Other conditions and limitations at erieinsurance.com. For J.D. Power award information, go to jdpower.com. Erie Insurance. There are so many things to get done this time of year. Don't get me wrong, it's all good, but man, it can get overwhelming, especially the money. That's why I prefer FM Trust for my banking. FM Trust has all the mobile and online tools I need to keep on top of finances. And they have 22 locations, every one of them right here in South Central PA. That's 100% local to me. And it's banking done my way every day. If this sounds like a great bank to you, learn more now at fmtrustonline.com. Member FDIC. Del Martin Incorporated, a full-service advertising agency, has been serving the tri-state area for 35 years. We specialize in screen printing and embroidered clothing. Del Martin Incorporated supplies a full range of brand name uniforms for athletic, work and medical applications and a full line of advertising essentials. We have an in-house artist ready to put your ideas to work for you. T-shirts for schools, clubs, churches and events. Del Martin Incorporated, 21 Sarah Susan Lane, Greencastle. Phone 717-597-5751 or online at delprint.com. Let the proven experts at Greencastle Notary Services handle your vehicle title and tag needs for Pennsylvania and Maryland. Instant registration for Pennsylvania, ATV and boat registration for Pennsylvania only. Greencastle Notary Services can take care of all your vehicle documentation needs. Greencastle Notary Services is conveniently located in downtown Greencastle near the post office at 38 East Baltimore Street. Open Monday through Friday 9 to 6, Saturday 10 to 1. Phone 717-597-3600. Football fans love two things, supporting their team and the Ford F-150 at Keystone Ford. Eagles fans love its best-in-class payload. Baltimore Raven fans like the F-150's efficiency with best-in-class gas mileage. And Washington fans, well, they love the Keystone Ford price. Steelers fans like defense and the F-150's five-star crash test rating. Regardless of your team, we've got your truck. We're Keystone Ford, a dealer for you, the people. MidPenBroadcasting.com, your home of the Chambersburg Trojans. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! And welcome back to Greencastle Antrim Senior High School. John Freeman alongside Jason Heilman. Our starting lineups this evening. 
Jason for the Blue Devils, pretty much the same thing we saw, seen all season, starting to sound like, kind of like a broken record. Yep. Uh, uh, number four, Brandon Stuhler. Number five, Jason Freeman. Number 11, Ben Freeman. Number 15, Ian Gilsinger. Number 32, Brian Gemby. And the starting lineup for the Polar Bears, a team that Greencastle struggled with earlier in the season. They're going to pretty much bring the same five that we saw back on December 18th, aren't they? That's uh, our belief at this time, unless Coach surprises us with something. But uh, zero, number zero, Chris Hartley. Number four, Nick Kozane. Uh, number 15, Dan Leet Leethoff. Number 21, Ryan McGill is their leading scorer. And number 32, Nate McGill. For the Blue Devils this evening, Brian Gemby comes into the game with 903 points. He's looking to become just the 10th player in Blue Devil boys basketball history to reach that 1,000 point mark. He will join Casey Hoover, who was the ninth player to join the 1,000 point club of Casey, of course, doing it last year uh, against his team, actually, Northern York. Uh, Jason, so far scoring for the Blue Devils this season, while, while Brian Gemby has led the team in scoring, overall it's been somewhat equal uh, distributed amongst the starters. Yeah, we've seen a balanced scoring throughout the season so far. They've actually traded the leading scorer in various games between all five of the starters. Uh, Brian Gemby is leading the team with 14 and a half points per game. Brandon Stuhler is right behind him at 12.2 points per game. Ian Gelsinger with 11.6 per game, Ben Freeman at 9.2, and Jason Freeman uh, with 8.1. And then your sixth and your seventh man off the bench, uh, Bryson Robinson averaging 2.5 a, a game, and Cam Howman with uh, 2.1 per game. We're less than five minutes to the opening tip-off of this contest between the Greencastle and Antrim Blue Devils and the Northern York Polar Bears. One thing we want to point out, these same two teams on the girls' side playing in Dillsburg this evening. The Blue Devil girls won the first matchup between the two schools. They were victorious here at Greencastle on December 18th. The Blue Devils led by Mike Ryan uh, winning that game by a score of 45 to 40. We will try and bring you updates from that game as we can discover them on the internet and keep you posted on how the Lady, or the, the Lady Blue Devils are doing this evening as they are playing in Dillsburg. We're going to take one last break and be back with the opening tip between Greencastle and Northern. This is the FNM Trust Sports Network on midpenbroadcasting.com, the sports page.blog, WRGG 93.7 FM, and WRGG.org. When you want banking done your way, try FNM Trust. Not only does FNM Trust have secure mobile and online banking, they have 22 community offices, all right here in South Central PA. So get banking done your way. Visit FMTrustOnline.com today. Member FDIC. There's a reason folks are flying in from as far as Texas, Florida, Nebraska, and North Carolina. It's our lowest price guarantee. And when they get here, they find out the price you see is the price you pay. And there's more. We're the area's number one volume Chevy dealer. We've got the used car super center. We give everyone free Pennsylvania state inspection. And with our credit doctors, Mike and Nate, everybody drives at Blaze Alexander Chevrolet, where we're taking deals the other guys won't. Guaranteed. Find new roads. Se habla español. Battery Express and more. And more means batteries for cars, trucks, heavy equipment, boats, ATVs, including computers, laptops, watches, security systems, and dog collars. Battery Express and more. The power that keeps you going. 2364 Warm Spring Road, Chambersburg. Open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, Saturday, 8 to 12. Phone 717-331-6996. Winter is here and Franklin Hardware and Pet Center in Chambersburg has your supplies. Snow shovels of all types, de-icer, salt, and everything that goes with winter weather conditions. Stock up now at Franklin Hardware and Pet Center, 1975 Philadelphia Avenue in Chambersburg. Open Monday through Friday, 7 to 7 and Saturday, 8 to 5. Phone 717-263-2624. Shippensburg Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine, with offices in Shippensburg, Greencastle, Waynesboro, and Newville, specializes in orthopedic and sports-related injuries. Our therapists are experts in utilizing the most current therapy techniques, from hands-on manipulation to therapeutic exercise and aquatic therapy. We are a locally owned and operated practice and have a vested interest in the individual patient and community. Shippensburg Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine, online at shippt.com. Phone 717-477-8030.
At Horace Mann, we believe educators are taking care of our children's future and deserve to have someone help take care of theirs. That's why we're here, to help educators protect what they have today with quality, affordable insurance and prepare for tomorrow with a variety of financial solutions. Visit your Greencastle representative, Jeff Coons, at 116 South Antrim Way, Greencastle, or call 717-597-4532. Horace Mann, founded by educators for educators. Greencastle Eye Care Center has been the area's premier eye care provider since 1984. Dr. Sandra Fink Freeman and Dr. Charlie Parsons provide comprehensive eye exams, including medical eye exams and contact lens fittings for patients from age one to over 100. The office has a complete optical department with a wide variety of frames for adults and children. Conveniently located in the John Grove Medical Center off exit five along I-81, Greencastle Eye Care Center is your family eye care provider, always accepting new patients. Call us at 717-597-7708. You can count on Premier HVAC services of Greencastle for all your heating and cooling needs. Same day service, free estimates, 24 hour emergency services and free second opinions. Phone 717-597-9900 or visit us online at premierhvacpa.com. Premier HVAC Services of Greencastle, your local heating and air conditioning professionals. And welcome back to Greencastle Antrim Senior High School. Our national anthem has been presented. The teams are on the floor. We're getting ready now to announce our starting lineups. And we just want to let you know that our pregame show has been brought to you by Antrim Insurance, your local area insurance agent, serving Greencastle, Waynesboro, Chambersburg, Mercersburg, and surrounding Pennsylvania and Maryland areas. Antrim Insurance, 169 South Antrim Way, Greencastle, and 1685 East Main Street in Waynesboro. Once again, good evening, everyone. I'm John Freeman. Jason Heilman joins me tonight. Keith Cole will be running the camera on Mid-Pen Broadcasting as we bring you this game on both WRGG and Mid-Pen Broadcasting. And Jason, as we get ready to play tonight, about three weeks to go in the regular season. Actually, three weeks from today is the final day of the regular season where games will count towards the power ranking. So more and more, I think you're going to see people start to talk about the rankings. And I think you're going to have people uh, looking at them on a, maybe on a more frequent basis. Right now, uh, as we head into this evening's game, Greencastle sits at number five in the power rankings, just behind Hershey, uh, who is sitting at number four. And, and why don't you tell us a little bit about why getting into that top four would be such an important thing this season? Yeah, because the top 16 teams in District 3, uh, 5A basketball, make the playoffs. If you get into the top four, you're guaranteed two home games. Provided you win your first game. Provided you yeah. win your, your your first game. Yep, very good, John. But 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 that assures you that you've got that home court advantage, uh, should you. And then, of course, the higher seed you are, the lower the seed you're going to see throughout the various rounds of the playoffs. Yeah, the first two rounds of the District 3 playoffs will be played on the home court of the higher, lower, however you want to look at Team with the lower number, you know, higher in, in the rankings. Semifinals and finals in the 5A classification will be played at the Giant Center in Hershey. I know that's one of those things that, uh, this group of Greencastle kids have talked about. 
they would love nothing more than to play at least one game in the Giants center. We are about ready to get things underway here. Brian Gemby to jump center with Ryan McGill. Jim quiets down and we're playing basketball here in Greencastle. Tip one by Brandon Stuhler for the Blue Devils as he brings it across the timeline. Northern comes out in a man-to-man -man defense. Blue Devils starting five as we've seen all season long. Brian Gemby loses his balance and is called for a travel. Blue Devils starting lineup, Brandon Stuhler, Jason Freeman, Ian Gelsinger, Ben Freeman, and Brian Gemby. For the Polar Bears, it's Chris Hartley, Nick Kazane, Dan Lighthoff, Ryan McGill, and Nate McGill. Here's McGill with the basketball, kind of forces his way inside, gets the shot up, can't get it to fall. Still no score, Jason Freeman over to Gemby, near corner three is up and good. So Brian Gemby on the scoreboard, quickly rattles home the three-pointer and the Blue Devils take a 3-0 lead at the 7-20 mark of the first quarter. John, actually, uh, the Polar Bear coach threw us a curveball there. He started number 22, Michael Grinder, okay. instead of Nate McGill. <laughs> Coaches have been known to do that. Steal mm -hmm. for the Blue Devils as the full court press takes the ball away from Northern. First turnover of the game for Northern Greencastle with one turnover of, the, of their own. Blue Devils with the basketball, working around the perimeter. Gelsinger to Jason Freeman, now near side to Gemby. Inside, Stuhler, nice inside pass. And Brandon Stuhler with the left-handed finish. Stuhler on the scoreboard with two points, and the Blue Devils jump out to a 5-0 lead. That's Hartley with the basketball for Northern as they bring it down the court, breaking the Blue Devil press. Just underway here from Greencastle, 5-0 our score. Blue Devils lead it, 6.30 to go here in the first quarter. Kozain with the basketball, gets it over to Grinder. Now he works it near side, and now look to get it back to Kozain, and it's gonna go back court, and I don't believe it was touched, so it will be a turnover to the Blue Devils. Second turnover of the night for Northern, and the Polar Bears won a timeout here early. Jason, the Blue Devils jumped out to a 15-0 lead against Shippensburg on Monday night. Continuing to show strong starts here as they score the first five points of this game against Northern. Yeah, that's important. I mean, you, like I said, uh, emotional game Monday night. Uh, beat Shippensburg to establish themselves in first place all, all by themselves in the Colonial Division. Don't want to come in here now with a number of days off and let down in any way. So it's good to see them with a uh, strong, positive start. Both teams get five timeouts over the course of a game. That was the first one taken this evening, a 30-second timeout called by Northern. Coming off the turnover, Blue Devils will inbound far side in front of the Northern bench. Into Stuhler in the backcourt. He's guarded by Kozain. Northern still in the man-to-man. -man. Gelsinger, 12-footer is good. So Ian Gelsinger with his first two points of the night puts the Blue Devils up top quickly. 7-0 and a kick by Stuhler. As Greencastle looking to establish that man-to-man -man full court press that we've seen them have so much success with. Northern gets the ball into Hartley. Nice job getting it back to number 32. That's Nate McGill. Northern gets the ball across the timeline. The grinder now gives it back to number four. That's Kozain. Blue Devils fall back into a 2-3 zone. Grinder with the basketball. Nice pass inside to number 32. That's McGill knocked free and out of bounds. Last touch by Nate McGill. So turnover number three for Northern as the Blue Devils take possession of the ball. Quickly up ahead to Stuhler, near corner, now back to Gemby, near wing. Gets a screen from Gelsinger, now kicks it out to Ben Freeman, far corner three, little short. Rebound pulled down by Nate McGill for Northern. As he gets it over to Hartley, long three-pointer for him won't go. Stuhler with the rebound, outlet to Gelsinger, up and in. Easy two points for Ian Gelsinger. Four points on the night for Gelsinger, Blue Devils lead it 9-0. Northern with the basketball, still looking for their first points of the game. Inside goes Kozain. His shot won't fall, but he is fouled. And he will go to the line to shoot two. Blue Devil foul will be on Jason Freeman. And John against Shippensburg, we saw the Blue Devil defense focus on uh, Carter Van Sile. Tonight here, you can see they're very much focused on number 21, uh, Ryan McGill. Kozain's first shot is good. As Chris Barrett is at the scorer's table. 
Second shot on the way for Nick Kozain, up and good. He's two for two from the line. He will be replaced by number 42, Chris Barrett, who checks into the game. Now Northern, down nine, two is gonna put some defensive pressure on. They're gonna try and press the Blue Devils. Inbound to Jason Freeman. He goes up to Gelsinger. Gelsinger turns, nice pass to Stuhler. Stuhler looked to take it down the lane, was cut off, worked the ball around. Jason Freeman lost possession. Tried to go baseline, never really got possession of the basketball. It'll go out of bounds and a turnover to Northern. So 9-2 our score, just under five minutes. And a foul on Jason Freeman, and I think we'll see somebody come off the bench. Yeah, so his second foul of the quarter. Now it looks like they're going to keep him in for now. Usually Rick Lewis will sit someone down if they pick up two quick fouls. Greencastle continuing to press and almost got a steal there as Northern gets the ball across the timeline. Inside it goes to McGill. Shot won't go, gets his own rebound. Puts it back up and good. So Nate McGill with the basket there for Northern. Polar Bears have run off four straight points to cut the Blue Devil lead to 9-4. Now here's Gelsinger to Gemby near wing three is good. So Brian Gemby two for two from beyond the arc. He has six points and the Blue Devils lead at 12-4. Now a shot up there by Nate McGill from just inside the three-point line. Only a two-point shot there for Northern. Cuts the Blue Devil lead down to six. Now far skip pass to Ben Freeman. He goes to Gelsinger around to Gemby. Gemby thought about a three, tried to drive and get it over to Jason Freeman. Passes a little wide and goes out of bounds. So a turnover by the Blue Devils. And Northern will take possession of the basketball. That's Barrett up ahead to number 32, Nate McGill. And McGill brings it up top, gets it over to Hartley. Now back to McGill. Now Greencastle is going to show a 3-2-2 defense here. Now here's McGill going to go baseline. Nice defense by Stuller to cut him off. Three-point shot on the way by Ryan McGill. Won't go. Scramble for the rebound. And they're going to say it was last touch by the Blue Devils. As Bryson Robinson will check into the game. Cam Heilman into the game. Taking a seat on the bench for Greencastle. Jason Freeman, Ian Gelsinger at the 3.33 mark of the first quarter. So inbounds, Nate McGill, three points are three pointer a little strong. Scramble for the rebound. And they're gonna say it was last touch by Northern. As Nate McGill and Bryson Robinson battle for it. And now we're gonna have a whistle and a sub. So we'll kind of restart things. As the Blue Devils will take possession of the ball. Northern again with the full court press here little not quite as strong as the last time more of a token pressure as Stuhler brings the ball across the timeline goes over to Gemby and a charge is going to be called has a little bit of contact and Michael Grinder goes to the floor so Brandon Stuhler will be called for the charge his first of the game three team fouls for the Blue Devils quickly up the floor to McGill He's open underneath and gets the easy two points as Northern does a nice job there to break the Greencastle pressure. Cuts the score to, or cuts the deficit to four, 12-8, Blue Devils lead it. Now here's Gemby with the basketball inside to Ben Freeman. He goes back to Gemby. Now Stuhler wide open, three from the far wing is good. Brandon Stuhler with five points on the night, extends the Blue Devil lead out to seven, 15-8. Nate McGill wasting a little time on the other side, throws up an air ball from three. And now we're gonna have a travel underneath called as Cam Hearns pulled down the offensive rebound but found himself surrounded by three Blue Devils. So Greencastle will take the ball leading by seven, 2.39 to go first quarter. Gamby will break the press by himself, brings it across the timeline, goes to Stuhler. Now down in the far corner to Robinson. He's gonna drive inside, gets bumped. Can't get the shot to fall. Rebound cleared away by Nate McGill for Northern. He gets it over to Hearns. Hearns thought about a three, now puts it up. Front of the rim, no good. Tipped away by Ben Freeman, but pulled down by McGill. Now Hearns is gonna find a nice pass to number 21. That's Ryan McGill. His shot won't fall, but the rebound 
and the putback for Northern. So Northern hitting the offensive glass, doing a pretty good job of it this evening. Now Ben Freeman's gonna let fly with a three. That won't go. Heilman there with the rebound for the Blue Devils, and he'll be fouled. So that will be the first foul on Northern. Will be called on number 42, Chris Barrett. So now the Blue Devils will inbounds underneath their own basket. There's Stuhler with the basketball. Now Northern drops into a zone. Looks like a 2-1-2 zone as Greencastle will switch up their offense. Here's Heilman, three-point shot up and good. So Cam Heilman on the board for the Blue Devils. His first basket of the night. Blue Devils back up on top by eight. 18-10 the score. 125 to go here in the first quarter. Now McGill's gonna go left-handed dribble around. Gemby shot won't fall. Scramble for the rebound. Gemby gets it out to Ben Freeman. He's gonna bring it down one on four. And he'll wisely hold the ball back and get it to Heilman. He'll take it inside in traffic. Shot won't fall. Robinson fighting for the rebound, but a nice job there by Barrett to get the rebound and the loose ball for Northern. And a travel as Nate McGill. <laughs> I guess they actually probably could have caught a foul, but I guess you can't foul your own huh? teammate. <laughs> I was just going to ask you, can you foul your own, uh, one of your teammates? That was Nate McGill bumping into Chris Barrett and forcing the travel. So another turnover for the Polar Bears. Blue Devils get the ball back at the one minute mark of the first quarter. They lead it 18-10. Ben Freeman thought about a three near corner. Robinson, his three point shot is up and good. So the Blue Devils getting some scoring from the bench this evening as both Cam Heilman and Bryson Robinson knocking down threes here in this first quarter. Blue Devils with their biggest lead, 21-10. Inside of 35 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Now Kozane is gonna put up a two, and that's gonna hit the rim and fall. A long two-pointer for Kozane. 21-12 our score. Clock down, ticking down to 20 seconds to go in the quarter. Blue Devils with the basketball, assuming they will try and hold for one here. As Cam Heilman will take the basketball, guarded by Kozane. Clock now down under 10 seconds. Greencastle going to have to start moving towards the basket. Down, down to five. Gemby for three. Off the front of the rim and over the support. And out of bounds, so the ball will go back to Northern. With two seconds left to go on the clock. Gelsinger and... Gem, or Gelsinger and Jason Freeman back into the game. Brandon Stuhler and Ben Freeman to the bench for Greencastle as Northern will look to get a last second shot. Long throw down the floor and Brian Gemby with a nice interception on that one. So the Blue Devils showing really no let up here like we thought could have happened coming off a couple of big wins last week. They take it to Northern here in the first quarter. After eight minutes of basketball, it's Greencastle 21, Northern 12. You're listening to Greencastle Basketball on the FNM Trust Sports Network, midpenbroadcasting.com, the sports page blog, and WRGG 93.7 FM and WRGG.org. Two things, supporting their team and the Ford F-150 at Keystone Ford. Eagles fans love its best-in-class payload. Baltimore Raven fans like the F-150's efficiency with best-in-class gas mileage. And Washington fans, well, they love the Keystone Ford price. Steelers fans like defense and the F-150's five-star crash test rating. Regardless of your team, we've got your truck. We're Keystone Ford, a dealer for you, the people. Victory Lane Tire and Alignment of Greencastle offers a wide range of general automotive repair services. We have any brand of new tires, alignments, auto repairs, state inspection, and custom exhaust work. Victory Lane Tire and Alignment, 11,011 John Wayne Drive, Greencastle. Open Monday through Saturday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Phone 717 597 Three five nine seven. And welcome back to Greencastle Junior Senior High School. Uh, we're back underway here in the second quarter. Polar Bears opened up with possession of the basketball and tried a couple inside shots. They were unsuccessful. Greencastle got the rebound and now they are possessing the ball down on their end of the floor. Gemby, top of the key. 
They'll pass it over to the right side to Howman. Up to Bryson Robinson. Over to Ian Gelsinger now just working the perimeter. Over to Gemby. He's going to dribble cross, crossover, dribble, center of the paint, puts it up, no good. And the Polar Bears come away with the rebound. Our score here is 21-12, just underway here in the second quarter. Uh, Greencastle showing a little bit of a 3-2 zone now. Northern uh, works the ball around the perimeter. Back up to Hartley. Three-pointer on the way, no good. Polar Bears with the rebound, pass it over to number 32, Nate McGill, and he is up and good with the, with the bucket. Cuts the Greencastle lead down to seven, 21-14. Ian Gelsinger with the ball at the top of the key, over to Jason Freeman, now up to Brian Gemby. Looking inside to Ian Gelsinger, he's gonna pass it off. Over to Bryson Robinson. Steal by the Polar Bears. I went back down now with another possession to try and cut into this Blue Devil lead. Three, up and good by Chris Hartley. That's his, his first points on the night. And that is uh, the Polar Bears' first three-pointer for the game. Now Jason Freeman looking to get the ball inside. Brian Gemme with a nice move in the paint. He's going to turn, and he is good with the two-pointer. So Brian Gemby leads Greencastle with eight points on the evening. Polar Bears now with the back over to Hartley. He puts up a three. It is no good. Rebound. Polar Bears tried to put up another two. Contested by Brian Gemby. He comes away with the basketball. Jason Freeman now. Over to Brian Gemby. He's going to put up a long three, and it is nothing but net. Brian Gemby now with 11 on the night. Leads all Blue Castle, or, or Green Castle uh, Blue Devil scorers. Another three up by the Polar Bears. And we're going to have a foul on the floor. Looks like Ian Gelsinger inadvertently there trying to get that rebound caught. Uh, Chris Hartley on the wrist pulled him to the ground. That's going to be Ian Gelsinger's first foul. And as John said earlier, the only uh, Blue Devil really in any kind of foul trouble at this point, Jason Freeman picked up the early two fouls uh, to start out the game. Over to Hartley to McGill, and he is, he is off with the three. Ryan McGill, number 21 for the Polar Bears, their, their leading scorer, and obviously the, uh, the focus of the uh, Blue Devil defense here this evening. He has not gotten off to a good start. Uh, I have Ryan with two points uh, so far here in this game. Nice pass inside to Ben Freeman uh, on the cut. Puts the two up and good, and that puts Ben Freeman on the board uh, here this evening, his first two points. Now McGill inside, and he is good with the inside layup. That gives McGill four points on the night. Now Brandon Stuhler looking to drive back to Gemby for a long three is off the rim. No good. McGill comes away with the rebound. Now he's going to push it up the floor quickly with a pass underneath to Hartley. Good defense by the Blue Devils. Now the Polar Bears moving the ball very effectively around. Looking for that open look. Oh, nice save out of bounds. Back in. And McGill off with the three-pointer. Gemby comes away with the rebound. Now quickly up to Ben Freeman. Across court to Jason Freeman. Now to Brandon Stuhler with the three. And that is good for Brandon Stuhler. Blue Devils continuing their hot shooting here this evening. Polar Bears no good from on the inside. Got the rebound. Put another shot up. Ian Gelsinger is going to come away with that rebound. Stuhler very quickly up to Jason Freeman on the left side. He's in a trap, and he's going to get himself out of it by bouncing the ball off of a polar bear out of bounds. John Freeman stepped away from the mic here for a little bit. He's doing some uh, 
photographic work uh, on behalf of the Greencastle Blue Devils. So this is Jason Holland taking over for John on the play-by-play. -play. Brian Gimby inbounds the ball to Stuhler now with 3.14 here left in the second quarter. Greencastle leading 31-19. Stuller dribbled to the right side over to Ben Freeman. Now back up top to Ian Gelsinger. Stuller takes a look. Looks for that give and go. Ian Gelsinger with the short jumper, and it is up and good. Ian Gelsinger with six points on the night. Now Polar Bears come down, uh, facing their largest deficit. Nice rejection there off the glass by Brandon Stuller. Stuller over to Gemby, back up to Stuller. Ian over for a nice open look for Ben Freeman. That three-pointer is just off the back of the rim. Uh, nice pressure by Ian Gelsinger. He forces the turnover. I think the Polar Bears actually had that ball in their hands. Now they are going to scramble for the floor, but the referee is going to award possession to the Polar Bears and grant their coach a timeout. And that's going to be a full 60-second timeout. So with that, we're going to take a short break. Uh, this is Jason Howman. You're listening to MidPen Broadcasting, 93.7 WRGG. Athletics in downtown Waynesboro outfit your team with uniforms, warm-ups, hats, spirit wear, and more. Olympian Athletics offers all types of clothing and accessories, from traditional to fashion to uniforms and workwear. We do screen printing, embroidery, and digital design, individual and team trophies for any event. Olympian Athletics, 55 West Main Street in downtown Waynesboro, open Monday through Friday, 9.30 to 5. And welcome back to Greencastle Junior Senior High School. This is Jason Howman. You're listening to Blue Devil Basketball on 93.7 WRGG Mid-Pen Broadcasting. Uh, picking back up here with uh, just about two minutes left in the second quarter. Polar Bears with the basketball. Uh, number 21. Ryan McGill with the basketball down low. He's going to be fouled by number 15, Ian Gelsinger. That's going to be Ian's second foul on the night. And so the Blue Devils will look to inbound the ball. Facing a 14-point deficit here. Blue Devils leading 33-19. Working the ball inside in the paint. Now back out to Hartley. Don't believe he got behind the three-point line there. Rebound. Comes down uh, number 22, uh, Michael Grinder with a rebound and a putback to give uh, the Polar Bears two points. Greencastle 33, Northern 21. Now the ball inside work to Ian Gelsinger. We're back out to Brandon Stuller, and he's going to call play. Over to the left side to Ian Gelsinger. Up top to Brian Gemby. Over to the right side now to Brandon Stuller. He's looking to dribble drive into the paint. Nice pass inside the Ian Gelsinger for the layup up and good. That's eight points on the evening for Ian Gelsinger. Now with a quick break by the Polar Bears. That layup did not go, but the rebound was gathered in by the Bears and they are good on the putback. Cross court pass here by Ben Freeman. Now Brandon Stuller with the ball down in the right corner inside to Ian Gelsinger. He's going to turn around with that little sh that short jump shot. Ian knocked that ball away, but it's going to be ruled that it's off Ian. So pull over a ball with 47 seconds left here in the second quarter. Uh, Jason Freeman and Ian Gelsinger are the two Blue Devils with two fouls. Uh, coach is going to put them on the bench to protect them here at the end of the half. And Anderson and Cam Howman now in the game for the Blue Devils here to finish out the half. Pass over to number 15 for the three-pointer. That's up and good by Dan Leithoff. And that's his first points on this evening. Now Brandon Stuller looking what will probably be a Blue Devils to hold the ball here to close out the half. They will look to possess the ball and take the last shot. 
uh, preserve what has been cut down to a nine point lead. Greencastle 35, Northern 26. Ryan Gemme with the drive inside, off the glass, that's unable to go, and the fight for the rebound refs rule that though it's off a Blue Devil. So the Polar Bears are gonna have a chance here for a shot with 4.7, Brandon Stuller with the steal. He gets me on the three-point line quickly, turns around and puts it up for the three-pointer to give the Blue Devils a 38-26 lead going into the half. So something that Coach Lewis, I'm sure, was looking to get the last shot there. Didn't look like it uh, panned out for them and uh, Brandon Stuller comes up with the timely steal gets out beyond the three-point line and gets the shot up and good. Uh, you're listening to Mid-Pen Broadcasting on WRGG 93.7. And we're going to take our halftime break, and John should be done with the uh, photography, and he'll join us here in just a minute. Could accident. It's common to wonder how things could have turned out differently, if only. No regrets. If only you had Erie Insurance. With Erie, instead of regrets, you can focus on putting your mishap behind no you. Regrets. With an Erie Rate Lock Auto Policy, your rate won't take a hit, no matter what. It stays put until you change a car, driver, or address. People who treat you fairly, legendary service, great rates. That's what it means to have seriously good insurance for your auto, home, or business. Erie Insurance. See for yourself why Erie received the J.D. Power Award for highest in customer satisfaction with the auto insurance purchase experience, three years in a row. Your Erie agent in Greencastle and Waynesboro is Antrim Insurance Agency. Get a quote at antriminspa.com. Erie Rate Lock is not available in all states. Limited to three years in Virginia. Other conditions and limitations at erieinsurance.com. For J.D. Power Award information, go to jdpower.com. Erie Insurance. Okay. What you got here is your basic Ford Escape. You can buy it right here. This baby doesn't mess around and it drives the competition crazy. See this hands-free lift gate? We have it, these guys don't. Need help parking? Escape has it. Do they? No, no, no. Got jet skis or a boat? Not the Titanic. Something smaller? If it weighs more than this, these guys can't do it. That's the Ford Escape and we're Keystone Ford. Fast, fair, and friendly. You can count on Premier HVAC services of Greencastle for all your heating and cooling needs. Same day service, free estimates, 24-hour emergency services, and free second opinions. Phone 717-597-9900 or visit us online at premierhvacpa.com. Premier HVAC services of Greencastle, your local heating and air conditioning professionals. Shippensburg Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine, with offices in Shippensburg, Greencastle, Waynesboro, and Newville, specializes in orthopedic and sports-related injuries. Our therapists are experts in utilizing the most current therapy techniques, from hands-on manipulation to therapeutic exercise and aquatic therapy. We are a locally owned and operated practice and have a vested interest in the individual patient and community. Shippensburg Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine, online at shippt.com. Phone 717-477-8030. Victory Lane Tire and Alignment of Greencastle offers a wide range of general automotive repair services. We have any brand of new tires, alignments, auto repairs, state inspection, and custom exhaust work. Victory Lane Tire and Alignment, 11,011 John Wayne Drive, Greencastle. Open Monday through Saturday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Phone 717 597 3597. At Horace Mann, we believe educators are taking care of our children's future and deserve to have someone help take care of theirs. That's why we're here to help educators protect what they have today with quality, affordable insurance and prepare for tomorrow with a variety of financial solutions. Visit your Greencastle representative, Jeff Coons, at 116 South Antrim Way, Greencastle, or call 717-597-4532. Horace Mann, founded by educators for educators. Welcome back to Greencastle Antrim Senior High School. Our halftime show is brought to you by Antrim Insurance. 
your local area insurance agent serving Greencastle, Waynesboro, Chambersburg, Mercersburg, and surrounding Pennsylvania and Maryland areas. Antrim Insurance, 169 South Antrim Way, Greencastle, and 1685 East Main Street in Waynesboro. We're at the half here in Greencastle as the Blue Devils and the Polar Bears doing battle in a mid-10 conference Colonial Division game. Second time through the Colonial Division schedule for the Blue Devils as they defeated uh, Northern back on December 18th. So far, so good for the Blue Devils this evening. After 16 minutes of basketball, Greencastle leads it here by a score of 38 to 26. Taking a look at some of the scoring leaders in the first half for the Blue Devils. Once again, uh, seems like balanced scoring is of the, uh, the order of the night for Greencastle. Brian Gemby and Brandon Stuhler, both with 11 points in the first half. Ian Gelsinger right behind them with eight. Cam Heilman and Bryson Robinson coming off the bench in the first quarter to, to knock down threes as they both have three points on the night. Ben Freeman with two, and Jason Freeman still looking to find the scoreboard. And Jason, you know, pretty good opening first half for the Blue Devils here. They've been averaging a little over 60 points a game. They come out here this evening against Northern, put 38 on the scoreboard. So they're certainly uh, well ahead of, of that pace uh, from what we've seen so far this evening. Yeah, and they're doing it with the exact same recipe. Very hot shooting. Uh, they got some points uh, off the bench as well. So the shooting has been uh, real good here tonight, and they're forcing those turnovers, getting those extra possessions going back the other way. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back for the second half of action here from Greencastle. Once again, at the half, it's Greencastle 38 and Northern 26. This is the FNM Trust Sports Network on midpenbroadcasting.com, the sports page blog, and WRGG 93.7 FM and WRGG.org. There are so many things to get done this time of year. Don't get me wrong, it's all good, but man, it can get overwhelming, especially the money. That's why I prefer FNM Trust for my banking. FNM Trust has all the mobile and online tools I need to keep on top of finances. And they have 22 locations, every one of them right here in South Central PA. That's 100% local to me. And it's banking done my way every day. If this sounds like a great bank to you, learn more now at fmtrustonline.com. Member FDIC. Battery Express and more. And more means batteries for cars, trucks, heavy equipment, boats, ATVs, including computers, laptops, watches, security systems, and dog collars. Battery Express and more, the power that keeps you going. 2364 Warm Spring Road, Chambersburg. Open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, Saturday, 8 to 12. Phone 717-331-6996. There's a reason folks are flying in from as far as Texas, Florida, Nebraska, and North Carolina. It's our lowest price guarantee. And when they get here, they find out the price you see is the price you pay. And there's more. We're the area's number one volume Chevy dealer. We've got the used car super center. We give everyone free Pennsylvania state inspection. And with our credit doctors, Mike and Nate, everybody drive at Blaze Alexander Chevrolet, where we're taking deals the other guys won't. Guaranteed. Find new roads. Se habla espanol. Winter is here and Franklin Hardware and Pet Center in Chambersburg has your supplies. Snow shovels of all types, de-icer, salt, and everything that goes with winter weather conditions. Stock up now at Franklin Hardware and Pet Center, 1975 Philadelphia Avenue in Chambersburg. Open Monday through Friday, 7 to 7 and Saturday, 8 to 5. Phone 717-263-2624. Exit 5 along I-81, Greencastle Eye Care Center is your family eye care provider. Always accepting new patients. Call us at 717-597-7708. Let the proven experts at Greencastle Notary Services handle your vehicle title and tag needs for Pennsylvania and Maryland. Instant registration for Pennsylvania, ATV and boat registration for Pennsylvania only. Greencastle Notary Services can take care of all your vehicle documentation needs. Greencastle Notary Services is conveniently located in downtown Greencastle near the post office at 38 East Baltimore Street. Open Monday through Friday 9 to 6, Saturday 10 to 1. Phone 717-597-3600.
Let Olympian Athletics in downtown Waynesboro outfit your team with uniforms, warm-ups, hats, spirit wear, and more. Olympian Athletics offers all types of clothing and accessories, from traditional to fashion to uniforms and workwear. We do screen printing, embroidery, and digital design, individual and team trophies for any event. Olympian Athletics, 55 West Main Street in downtown Waynesboro, open Monday through Friday, 9.30 to 5. We're back to action here in Greencastle. Blue Devils with the ball to start the third quarter. Brian Gemby with a missed shot there as the Blue Devils lead it by 12, 38 to 26. Now Northern with the basketball looking to cut into the 12-point lead. That's number 21, Ryan McGill with the basketball. He goes inside to number 22. That's Michael Grinder. Now back up top to Nate McGill. Greencastle back out in their 2-3 zone. Greencastle mixing the defenses up a little bit. Now Grinder, or excuse me, yeah, Grinder finds some open space. He tries to shoot it over Ben Freeman, can't get it to fall. Brian Gemby with the rebound for the Blue Devils. Back they come up the court. Jason Freeman to Gemby. Gemby now up top to Gelsinger, working around to Ben Freeman. He's going to do a dribble exchange with Stuhler. Now Stuhler tries to lob it inside to Jason Freeman. Nice defense there by Northern. That was Chris Hartley that got a hand on that, and the ball scoops out of bounds. Last touch by the Polar Bears. And one minute into the second, third quarter, our first substitution, as Chris Barrett checks in. Can be nice bounce pass to Gelsinger from about eight foot is up and good. So Ian Gelsinger is into double digits with 10 points. Blue Devils with three players in double digits already in this one. As Kozane tries to drive on Gemby, they collide, and a foul will be called on Brian Gemby for the Blue Devils. Just his first of the game, and it comes at the 6.49 mark of the third quarter. Inbounds to Kozane, three-point shot, just skims the front of the rim, no good. Stuhler with the rebound for the Blue Devils. He gets it up ahead to Ben Freeman, back to Gemby. Stuhler from three is up and good, so Brandon Stuhler finding the mark from three-point land this evening. He leads all scorers with 14. As a timeout will be called by Northern, a 30-second timeout. So we're gonna stay right here. And Jason, we talked about the Blue Devils in bounds scoring. Northern also with some bounds scoring here tonight. Seven players on the scoreboard. Yeah, I was just gonna say, and it's just a different way. They have seven different players now on the board with points in this game. Uh, the highest being number 32, Nate McGill, with six. So the Blue Devils break the huddle. Northern will inbound the ball with the timeout being called, coming off the Stuhler three-pointer. 43-26, Greencastle leads it here. 6.36 to go in the third quarter. As the Blue Devils look to pick up their 12th win of the season. A win tonight would be a season sweep of Northern. Still a long time to go in this one as the Blue Devils lead it by 16 or 17. Aaron pass there by the Polar Bears goes out of bounds. A turnover to the Blue Devils. With 6.25 to go here in the third quarter, Greencastle leading it 43-26 with the basketball. Northern in a man-to-man -man defense here early on in the third quarter. Now Stuhler's going to try and go around Kozane, and a foul will be called on Nick Kozane for Northern. That will be just his first foul of the night, first team foul for Northern here in the second half as the Blue Devils will inbound underneath their own basket. Gemby lobs it out to Stuhler. Stuhler tries to get a screen from Gelsinger. Now dribble exchange to Jason Freeman. He gives it back to Gemby. Now Brian Gemby's gonna take it down the lane, bounce off a couple of polar bears as the ball goes out of bounds, but a foul will be called. And Gemby will likely go to the line here to shoot two. Gemby with 11 points in the first half. First shot for him from the free throw line is up and good. Gives the Blue Devils their largest lead of the night, 18 points. Check that, make it 19. 19 points, the largest lead for Greencastle this evening as they extend out to a 45-26 lead over Northern here with 6.05 to go in the third quarter. And John, the, the Blue Devils not backing off on the, uh, the full court press here. 
And there's a mad scramble for it as Stoller and Jordan Heisey battle for it. They're going to say it was last touched by Heisey. So a turnover, and the Blue Devils will get possession. The full court press leads to a turnover. As Gemby inbounds the ball to Stuller. Northern still in the man-to-man -man defense. Far side to Gelsinger. He's going to dribble into the paint, kick it around to Gemby. He backs up. Now he's going to take his time, gets it to Gelsinger. Oh. <laughs> he had Ben Freeman breaking for the basket, but threw that a little behind as the ball goes out of bounds and Northern he, will take possession. He thought uh, Ben was going to sit sit down right in that corner and he was going to pop him for an open three there, but Ben had other ideas. He, he, he was cutting to the hoop. So Northern gets the basketball back, trailing by 19. As Greencastle continues to pressure. Northern gets it across the timeline, but Stuhler steps right in front of Michael Grinder for the steal. And another turnover for the Blue Devils inside the Ben Freeman. What a pass by Brandon Stuhler as he finds Ben Freeman wide open for two. Down on the other end, that's number 21, Ryan McGill, trying to get the ball inside. And I think they're going to say Gemby got a little bit of ball and more arm than anything else. So a foul called on Brian Gemby, just his second of the night, second team foul here in the second half for the Blue Devils. 47-26, Greencastle leads at 5.15 to go here in quarter number three. As Greencastle still in the 2-3 zone. Seen some man, seen some 3-2, and now Greencastle in the 2-3. Gemby steps in, knocks it free, almost a turnover. But Kozain is there to get it back for Northern as they look to solve this Blue Devil defense. Inside to McGill, he fights his way through a couple of Blue Devils and tries to get it to Heisey. A little too strong for him, out of bounds it goes. And John, the Blue Devils are averaging 11 steals a game. Now that's not turnover, that's steals. And uh, I'd say we're getting close up to that number already here, here tonight. Yeah, great defensive performance so far by the Blue Devils showing that full court press. Now Stuhler goes with a left-handed dribble into the paint. He's fouled on his way to the basket. They're going to say it's a spot foul. So Greencastle will take the ball back in play underneath their own basket. As Chris Hartley checks back into the game for Northern, he'll replace Jordan Heisey. Gemby lobs it inside to Gelsinger. Back up top to Stuhler, now near side to Ben Freeman. Back up top to Gelsinger, fired around far side. Jason Freeman gets it to Gemby on the far wing. Now back to Gemby, thought about a three. Inside spin, shuffle, left-handed shot. Up and good over Michael Grinder. Nice defense there by Grinder. Gemby just does a great job to find a little space and get that shot to fall. He has 15. Now there's a three-point shot by Ryan McGill, no good. Scramble for the basketball as Stuhler hits the floor. And a foul called on Stuhler. Almost two minutes in here to the third quarter, John, and uh, Polar Bears have not uh, been able to put any points up on the board here. But... Greencastle outscoring Northern 11-0 here to start the second half. Blue Devils ran off the first nine points to open up the game, so strong starts here in both the first and second half for Greencastle. Has an injury timeout. Nate McGill has an injury to a finger. I think it was uh, bleeding a little bit. We're going to have the trainer take care of that. And now Michael Grinder will go to the line for Northern. He has four points on the evening for the Polar Bears. Looking to score their first points of the second half, and he does exactly that. As Cam Heilman and Bryson Robinson into the game, Jason Freeman, Ian Gelsinger head on out as Grinder gets set to take his second shot. And Michael Grinder, a perfect two for two from the line there. First two points of the second half for Northern. 49 28, Greencastle leads inside to Robinson on a nice pass from Ben Freeman. So Bryson Robinson is there. He makes the basket. He is fouled. And he will go to the line to try and complete the three point play. And John, uh, Bryson looked like he invited that foul. <laughs> he, he got that pass in there instead of going right up to the glass. He just hesitated for a moment. Kind of was looking for a little bit of contact on the backside and then went ahead and put it up on the glass. Five points on the evening for the Greencastle senior. Make it soap step, almost make it five. <laughs> Thought that was going in. So Bryson Robinson with five points coming off the bench for Greencastle. Drive into the basket is Hartley. 
as he hits the runner off the glass and good. 51-30, Greencastle lead. Now here's Robinson, tries to go around Hartley, almost went to the floor, but kept his balance as he is fouled. So the foul called on Chris Hartley, his second foul of the evening. 15th foul here of the half for Northern. So Greencastle approaching the bonus quickly here in the second half. Gamby with the ball on his way to the basket, can't get it to fall, rebound pulled down by Hartley. He gets it over to McGill. McGill's gonna go baseline, past a couple of Blue Devils, now turns around, puts up a shot, gets that to fall. So Ryan McGill with six points for Northern. 51-32, Greencastle leads it, 3.32 to go here in the third quarter. Now Heilman's gonna go to the basket, have that rejected. Pulled down by Ryan McGill as he brings the ball back up court for the Polar Bears as they try and cut into this Blue Devil 19-point lead. Now Heisey loses possession of the ball, and Gemby's just going to throw it out ahead to Stuhler, and he's going to have an easy layup down on the other end. So Brandon Stuhler running the floor well. He has 16 points. He's now the leading scorer for the Blue Devils in this game this evening. Dan Lightoff gets it inside to Grinder. He takes it to the basket. Nice move there by Michael Grinder to score. He now has eight points. He leads the Polar Bears in scoring this evening. 53 to 34, Greencastle leads it. As Bryson Robinson looks to go baseline, now gets it out to Gemby. Stuhler near wing, shot up and good for three. So Brandon Stuhler finding a range from long distance tonight. He has 19. I don't think Brandon's missed a three-pointer tonight yet, John. Now McGill's gonna try and do it on his own as he dribbles into a mess of Blue Devil players and gets that shot to fall. So eight points on the night for Ryan McGill. And now Stuhler's gonna try and go baseline. Nice defense there by Hartley. Tried to get it inside to Ben Freeman, taken away by McGill. He's gonna go to Hartley. Gemby's gonna get a hand on that and block it. Nice defense there by Gemby. As the Blue Devils, Bryson Robinson gets it over to Ben Freeman, now kicks it back to Gemby. Far wing with the basketball. He's gonna dribble into the paint. Now between the circles comes near wing to Heilman. And a foul's gonna be called. And I believe it's gonna stay here, so it looks like it's gonna be on Northern. I think they're gonna get Chris Hartley for that foul. A push. Trying to work through that screen, the ball screen up top. <clears throat> Brian Gemby was setting the screen there as Cameron Hamlin was coming across. I think they're gonna say he used an arm to get free, and that mm -hmm. will be his second foul of the night. Sixth team foul for Northern. So the Blue Devils will go to the line the rest of the way to shoot one on one inside the Jason Freeman. Shot won't go on that one. Nice defense there by number 15, laid off for Northern. Inside the grinder, he's gonna knock that one in. So Northern quickly bringing the ball down the court to score two. 56-38, Greencastle leads it. 120 to go, Ben Freeman for three as well, short. Rebound pulled down by McGill for Northern. Northern's not gonna waste a lot of time here, trailing by 18. McGill's gonna put up a three and he's gonna knock that down. So a three-pointer for Ryan McGill. He now moves into double digits with 11. As we are under one minute to go here in the third quarter, now Gemby and Grinder are gonna bump on the way to the basket and they're gonna call Michael Grinder for a block. And they're gonna say it was before the shot. But that will be the seventh team foul, so Greencastle will shoot one and one. As Brian Gemby will go to the line. Blue Devils leading it here, 56-41. First shot up and good for Gemby. His 17th point of the night, 16th point, excuse me. He will get the bonus here. Bonus good as well. So 17 points on the night for Brian Gemby. 58-41, Greencastle leads it. Clock now under a minute to go here in the third quarter. Northern with the basketball. And Josh Anderson checks into the game for Brian Gemby. Gonna work it around, Leithoff's gonna put up a three-point shot and knock that down from the far corner. 
six points on the evening for Leithoff of Northern, 58-44. Now Hyland with the basketball, he gets it over to Ben Freeman. Freeman almost lost it, now gets it back, kicks it over to Jason Freeman. Greencastle gonna just work a little clock here, maybe trying to take the last shot. Robinson with the ball near wing, gets it to Jason Freeman, he's just gonna dribble out. It worked out all right for him at the end of the half. Thought we were gonna have a dribble exchange, but the ball got knocked loose by Northern and out of bounds. So we'll stay in possession of the Blue Devils. Stuhler's not on the floor though in this case, John. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody else will have to work some magic. Greencastle with his two starters on the floor right now. Down to eight seconds, Heilman with the basketball, guarded by Hartley, gets it over to Jason Freeman, thought about a three. Now he's in some trouble. Now he's gonna have to try and get something off. He just throws it towards the basket. <laughs> almost. It almost went. Almost. After three quarters of basketball, the Blue Devils continuing to do what they do best. After three quarters, they lead Northern by a score of 58 to 44. We'll be right back after these messages on the FNM Trust Sports Network on midpenbroadcasting.com, the sports page dot blog, and WRGG 93.7 FM and WRGG.org. And Franklin Hardware and Pet Center in Chambersburg has your supplies. Snow shovels of all types, de-icer, salt, and everything that goes with winter weather conditions. Stock up now at Franklin Hardware and Pet Center, 1975 Philadelphia Avenue in Chambersburg. Open Monday through Friday, 7 to 7, and Saturday, 8 to 5. Phone 717-263-2624. Let the proven experts at Greencastle Notary Services handle your vehicle title and tag needs for Pennsylvania and Maryland. Instant registration for Pennsylvania, ATV and boat registration for Pennsylvania only. Greencastle Notary Services can take care of all your vehicle documentation needs. Greencastle Notary Services is conveniently located in downtown Greencastle near the post office at 38 East Baltimore Street. Open Monday through Friday, 9 to 6, Saturday, 10 to 1. Phone 717-597-3600. And welcome back to Greencastle. This is Jason Howman. You're listening to Mid Midpen Broadcasting. We're underway here at Greencastle in the fourth quarter. Uh, Polar Bears opened up uh, this quarter with the possession error. They took the ball down and they did score a two point bucket to make it 58 uh, 46. Greencastle looking at with a 12 point lead here. At one point in the third quarter, they were up by as many as 23, and they have seen that lead slowly erode. Uh, toward the latter end of the third quarter and now here into the fourth quarter. McGill puts up a long three. That's no good. Stuhler comes down with the rebound. Now he's going to push the ball up. Uh, he's going to take a position behind the three-point line. Nobody decides to cover him, so Brandon makes good with the three-pointer. And I believe Brandon is shooting 100% on the night from behind three. And uh, Stuhler leads all Greencastle scorers with 22 points here this evening. A lot of that coming from behind the three-point line. Ryan Miguel with the drive to the hoop. Greencastle called with the foul. McGill makes good with his first foul shot. Now the officials just checking something at the scorer's table. They're going to give the ball back to McGill. McGill up with the second one. It's no good. Rebound. Ben Freeman. Gemby's going to push the ball up the floor. Now lead pass inside to Ian Gelsinger. Doesn't have an opening, so he's going to get it out to Stuhler. Gives it right back to him for that short jumper right along the baseline. Ian Gelsinger up and good with the two-pointer. That gives Ian 12 points on the night. Greencastle not backing off. They're still uh, pressing the Polar Bears with that full court press. Polar Bears get the ball inside, but Ian Gelsinger digs in there and comes up with a steal. Uh, turns the ball back over to the Blue Devils. Now Gemby brings it up the floor over to Jason Freeman, who's going to dribble around top of the key. Over to Brandon Stuhler. Nobody wants to cover him. Stuhler puts it up, and that's going to be Stuhler's first miss, I believe, from beyond the three-point line here tonight. 
Uh, fight for the rebound is ruled out on the Blue Devils. So it's going to be polar bear ball here with just under six minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Greencastle leads 63-47. Stoller's going to pick up the ball at uh, half court. They get it across the line. Now over to Hartley for a three attempt. No good. Rebound Ben Freeman. Stoller's going to bring the ball up across center court. Hand the ball off to Gemby, who's going to cross over a dribble, drive into the paint. Looking to pass the ball down to Ian Gelsinger. Now back out. Don't like the look. Gemby now pass over to the left side. Freeman to Freeman. Jason inside. Drives to the hoop with a nice lay-in. Hard. A uh, little contact there off the glass. But Freeman gets on the board. McGill works the ball inside. And Gemby with a nice rejection down low. A battle for the rebound. And uh, Gelsinger... And that's number 22, Michael Grinder, a battle for the ball. And they're going to call Grinder with the foul. So it's going to be Blue Devil basketball here. And the Polar Bears are over the bonus. And so that'll be a one on one for Ian Gelsinger. He's going to go to the line in a one on one situation here with 5 10 left in the ball game. Gelsinger up with the first foul shot. It is good, so he will get the second and an opportunity to put the Blue Devils back up by 20 here in the fourth quarter. Ian puts it up, and it is good. Greencastle's lead back up to 20 points, 67-47, 5-10 left in the contest. Polar Bears wasting no time. Push the ball up the floor. Hartley drives to the hoop, and it is good on the lay-in. Hartley now with seven points on the night for the Polar Bears. Coach Rick Lewis for Greencastle calls from the to spread it out. Gemby tries to cross over dribble and there's going to be a foul called. Uh, that's on Ryan McGill. That's only McGill's first in the ball game. So Gemby's going to go to the line here for a one-on-one. -on -one. That's the Polar Bears' ninth team foul. Next one will be a double bonus. Gemby for the first one of the front end of the one-on-one. -on -one. He makes it good, so he will get the second. Gemby with the second up in the roll, and it is good. Greencastle back out to a 20-point lead, 69-49. The Polar Bears bring the ball up here. Just under five minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Polar Bears now work the ball around top of the key. Back inside, nice pass inside to number four, Nick Kozane. He is unable to get that. His the attempted lay-in rolls off the rim. Greencastle with the rebound. Stuller brings the ball up. Now they're passing around to the left side. Ian Gelsinger out to Brian Gemby, who thought about a three-pointer. Thought differently of it. Ian Gelsinger with the dribble drive on the baseline. Blue Devils try to get that cutter pass into Jason Freeman coming down the lane. It was covered up. Polar Bears come away with the steal. Jason Freeman up top with the kick and the attempted pass over to the right side. Called by the refs. And we have a timeout on the floor. I believe it's called by Green Castle. That's going to be a full timeout. So with that, we're going to take a short break. Come right back to you. Mid-Pen Broadcasting on 93.7 WRGG. Count on Premier HVAC services of Greencastle for all your heating and cooling needs. Same-day service, free estimates, 24-hour emergency services, and free second opinions. Phone 717-597-9900. Or visit us online at premierhvacpa.com. Premier HVAC Services of Greencastle, your local heating and air conditioning professionals. I'm Jason Howman. Uh, welcome back to Greencastle High School here with the Blue Devils leading 69-49. 4.02 left in the fourth quarter. Polar Bears now 
inbound the ball off of the Green Castle score and the timeout. They're working around the left side now on the perimeter over to Hartley. Hartley's looking inside uh, to Nate McGill. Back over to Hartley. Pass it back up top to McGill. Hartley puts up the, I think that that is a three-pointer. He was very close to being on or just inside that line, but the refs rule that is a three-pointer. Hartley with three. That gives him 10 on the night. Blue Devils with the ball here. Jason Freeman up top with hard pressure on him here over to Stuhler. Stuhler's gonna hold the ball. Looking for that little give and go with Ian Gelsinger now over to Ben Freeman, over to Brian Gemby for a long three. And that one is up and good. Brian Gemby with now 22 on the night. Polar Bears come right back, work the ball inside to McGill. That shot was contested and unable to go. Blue Devils come back up the floor with the basketball. Pass rejected, comes right back over to Ben Freeman. Then to Jason Freeman, he's unable. The ball is pushed up the floor, but Brandon Stuhler comes away with yet again another steal. Blue Devils pass it over to Jason Freeman, puts up a three, and that is good. That gives Jason Freeman five on the night and another three for the Blue Devils. Increases their lead to 23. I think that uh, ties the largest lead here of the evening with 222, 221 left in the ball game. Polar Bears now work it inside to number 22, Michael Grinder uh, for the two pointer. That gives Grinder 12 on the night. And the Blue Devils work the ball up the floor to Gemby. Now he looks inside. Nice pass under the hoop to Ben Freeman, but there was not enough room there to get the ball up to the hoop. Gemby now stuck just inside the line. Nice give and go between he and Ian. Gives the ball to Gelsinger. Gelsinger gives it right back on the cut to the hoop. Hits him with a perfect bounce pass. Gemby up and fouled with the shot. It is good, so he will go to the line for the N1 with Greencastle leading here 77-54 with just under two minutes to play. Minute 56 here. Brian Gemby looking for the and one on that nice lay-in with the pass from Ian Gelsinger to give the Blue Devils a 24-point lead. Gemby with the ball up, and it is good. Greencastle now, uh, I'd have to look, coming close to uh, matching their high points for the season. They scored 79 against Big Spring. And uh, got 78 on the board here with uh, almost uh, just over a minute and a half left in the ball game. Polar Bears work the ball around. That's going to be ruled off of Polar Bear. That's going to be Greencastle ball on the rebound. Now Coach Rick Lewis is going to empty the bench. All the starters are going to come off the floor here for the Blue Devils with a 24-point lead with a minute 38 left in the ball game. And uh, Bryson Robinson, number 25. Number 13, Josh Anderson. Number 34, Nick Echo on the floor here. Uh, number 24, well, uh, the Blue, De or I'm sorry, the Polar Bears steal the ball down the floor and up and good for the two. Bryson Robinson now dribbles the ball down. Wolf is gonna put the ball up and it is good from three. So, so. Wolf says, hey, uh, we can play too. So he comes off the bench and he puts up a three and that's gonna establish a new high points uh, for Blue Devil basketball here uh, on the season with 81 here at home against the Polar Bears. Polar Bears put up a three, that shot is no good. They're gonna pass it back out, working around the left side. Over to number 20, inside now to number 23 and that is Jason. Erwin, Erwin no good on the shot attempt. Rebound by Bryson Robinson. Bryson's gonna push it up the floor. Now these Blue Devils, they've been longing to get in this game. They're gonna wanna play some basketball, so they're passing the ball around here. They're looking for an open shot. Wolf's gonna put up another three. That, that shot is close, but no good. Rebound, Polar Bears, they work it back up the floor here with just under 20 seconds left in the ball game. Greencastle 81, Polar Bears number or, uh, 56. Polar Bears work the ball down inside. Now back out to the perimeter, working around the left side, back up top. 
over to the right. Thought about a three. Pass deflected, now number 42. He's gonna put up a three. That shot is up and good by Chris Barrett. Chris Barrett uh, ends the game with a three-pointer at the buzzer. And this one is in the books, folks. Greencastle 81, the Northern High Polar Bears 59. And we will be back in a minute with our post-game show. You're listening to Midpen Broadcasting on WRGG 93.7. Folks are flying in from as far as Texas, Florida, Nebraska, and North Carolina. It's our lowest price guarantee. And when they get here, they find out the price you see is the price you pay. And there's more. We're the area's number one volume Chevy dealer. We've got the used car super center. We give everyone free Pennsylvania state inspection. And with our credit doctors, Mike and Nate, everybody drives at Blaze Alexander Chevrolet, where we're taking deals the other guys won't. Guaranteed. Find new roads. Se habla espanol. There are so many things to get done this time of year. Don't get me wrong, it's all good, but man, it can get overwhelming, especially the money. That's why I prefer FM Trust for my banking. FM Trust has all the mobile and online tools I need to keep on top of finances, and they have 22 locations, every one of them right here in South Central PA. That's 100% local to me, and it's banking done my way every day. If this sounds like a great bank to you, learn more now at fmtrustonline.com. Member FDIC. Battery Express and more. And more means batteries for cars, trucks, heavy equipment, boats, ATVs, including computers, laptops, watches, security systems, and dog collars. Battery Express and more. The power that keeps you going. 2364 Warm Spring Road, Chambersburg. Open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, Saturday, 8 to 12. Phone 717-331-6996. Let Olympiad Athletics in downtown Waynesboro outfit your team with uniforms, warm-ups, hats, spirit wear, and more. Olympiad Athletics offers all types of clothing and accessories, from traditional to fashion to uniforms and workwear. We do screen printing, embroidery, and digital design, individual and team trophies for any event. Olympiad Athletics, 55 West Main Street in downtown Waynesboro, open Monday through Friday, 9.30 to 5. You can count on Premier HVAC services of Greencastle for all your heating and cooling needs. Same day service, free estimates, 24-hour emergency services, and free second opinions. Phone 717-597-9900 or visit us online at premierhvacpa.com. Premier HVAC services of Greencastle, your local heating and air conditioning professionals. Victory Lane Tire and Alignment of Greencastle offers a wide range of general automotive repair services. We have any brand of new tires, alignments, auto repairs, state inspection, and custom exhaust work. Victory Lane Tire and Alignment, 11,011 John Wayne Drive, Greencastle, open Monday through Saturday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., phone 717 597 Three five nine seven. Shippensburg Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine, with offices in Shippensburg, Greencastle, Waynesboro, and Newville, specializes in orthopedic and sports-related injuries. Our therapists are experts in utilizing the most current therapy techniques, from hands-on manipulation to therapeutic exercise and aquatic therapy. We are a locally owned and operated practice and have a vested interest in the individual patient and community. Shippensburg Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine, online at shippt.com. Phone 717-477-8030. Our post-game show is brought to you by Antrim Insurance, your local area insurance agent serving Greencastle, Waynesboro, Chambersburg, Mercersburg, and surrounding Pennsylvania and Maryland areas. Antrim Insurance, 169 South Antrim Way, Greencastle, and 1685 East Main Street, in Waynesboro. One score to report uh, from out of town, the Greencastle girls playing this evening in Northern. And in that game, the Northern girls defeat Greencastle by a score of 39 to 31. So the Blue Devil girls uh, fall to the Lady Polar Bears this evening in Dillsburg. Here in Greencastle, it was, it was all Greencastle offense as the Blue Devils shot the ball about as well, Jason, as I think we've seen all season. 
as they put 81 points on the scoreboard, which I believe is their high for the season. It is, yeah. So the Blue Devils reach a high point level for the season, putting up 81 points against Northern as they defeat the Polar Bears 81-56. to And like we said, Jason, three-point shooting was the key for the Blue Devils tonight. Absolutely. Hot shooting, and it didn't uh, end just with the starters. We saw three-pointers from... Cameron Hyman, Bryson Robinson, and also late in the game, correction, I referred to him as Brady, well, it's Brady Shepard. Brady Shepard comes into the ball game at the end. He hits the three, puts Greencastle over their previous high points for the year, up to 81 points. So the Blue Devils run the record to 12-2 and two on the season with the victory here over Northern. They are now 7-0 and oh in the Colonial Division. Yet to hear a report on the Shippensburg game this evening. Uh, but even if Shippensburg would win, the Blue Devils would still remain half a game ahead of the Greyhounds as Shippensburg came into this uh, game tonight with a record of 6-1. and one. And the Blue Devils again coming away with a victory here tonight, 81-56. to 56. Taking a look at the score sheet for the Blue Devils, Brian Gemby leading the way. 25 points on the evening for Gemby. Joining him in the 20-point club was Brandon Stuhler with 22. Ian Gelsinger also, also reaching double digits. He had 14 Ben Freeman with five, Bryson Robinson with five, Jason Freeman had four, and three points each from Cam Heilman and Brady Shepard. So 81 points for the Blue Devils this evening, a season high, and we're gonna take one last break and come back here to wrap things up for this contest here as we get ready to start the weekend. You're listening to the FNM Trust Sports Network on midpenbroadcasting.com, the sports page.blog, WRGG 93.7 FM and WRGG.org. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Had an auto accident? It's common to wonder how things could have turned out differently if only. No regrets. If only you had Erie Insurance. With Erie, instead of regrets, you can focus on putting your mishap behind you. With an Erie Rate Lock Auto Policy, your rate won't take a hit no matter what. It stays put until you change a car, driver, or address. People who treat you fairly, legendary service, great rates. That's what it means to have seriously good insurance for your auto, home, or business. Erie Insurance. See for yourself why Erie received the J.D. Power Award for highest in customer satisfaction with the auto insurance purchase experience three years in a row. Your Erie agent in Greencastle and Waynesboro is Antrim Insurance Agency. Get a quote at antruminspa.com. Erie Rate Lock is not available in all states. Limited to three years in Virginia. Other conditions and limitations at erieinsurance.com. For J.D. Power award information, go to jdpower.com. Erie Insurance. Welcome back to Greencastle Antrim Senior High School and the postgame show. Northern New York this evening led by number 21 Ryan McGill he had 14 points in the game this evening for the Polar Bears he came in averaging just under 20 points a game so the Blue Devil defense does a nice job holding McGill well under his season average the only other Polar Bear two other Polar Bears in double digits for that matter number 22 Michael Grinder had 12 and 0 Chris Hartley he had 10 points in the game for the Polar Bears this evening once again, our post-game show has been brought to you by Antrim Insurance, your local Erie insurance agent serving Greencastle, Waynesboro, Chambersburg, Mercersburg, and surrounding Pennsylvania and Maryland areas. Antrim Insurance, 169 South Antrim Way, Greencastle, and 1685 East Main Street in Waynesboro. Tonight's game has been brought to you by FM Trust. If your banking relationship feels too distant lately, switch to FM Trust. FM Trust is local and makes sure banking is done your way every day. Learn more at fmtrustonline.com, member FDIC. Franklin County Visitors Bureau, your great moments are waiting in Franklin County. Let the Franklin County Visitors Bureau help you plan your visit to the beautiful Cumberland Valley. Keystone Ford, fast, fair, and friendly, 301 Walker Road in Chambersburg. Del Martin Incorporated, a full-service advertising agency serving the tri-state area for 38 years. Greencastle Eye Care Center, a leading provider of optometry services and vision care products in the Greencastle community since 1984. Blaze Alexander Chevrolet Volvo, 650 North Antrim Way in Greencastle, Battery Express and more. 2364 Warm Springs Drive in Chambersburg. Horace Mann, founded by educators for educators. Visit Greencastle representative Jeff Coons, 116 South Antrim Way, Greencastle. Premier HVAC of Greencastle, your local heating and air conditioning professionals, phone 717-597-9900. 
Greencastle Notary Services, serving your vehicle and tag needs for Pennsylvania and Maryland. Olympian Athletics, 55 West Main Street, Waynesboro. Let us outfit your team with uniforms, warm-ups, hats, and so much more. Victory Tire and Alignment, John Wayne Drive in Greencastle, Franklin Pet and Hardware Store, 1975 Philadelphia Avenue, Chambersburg, and Klein Tours, New York, Las Vegas, New Orleans, Costa Rica, and so much more. Visit KleinTours.net for a complete tour schedule. Our next broadcast of Blue Devil Basketball will be Tuesday night, January the 23rd, as the Blue Devil boys will be at home to take on Boiling Springs in what should be an exciting matchup between two of the top teams in the Colonial Division. We'll have the game for you starting at 7.15 with the pregame show on Tuesday. Once again, our final score this evening was 50 was 81-59. Tonight's game has been a production of MidPenBroadcasting.com on the FNM Trust Sports Network, along with the SportsPage.blog and WRGG 93.7 FM and WRGG.org. Our camera operator this evening has been Keith Cole. For Jason Heilman and the entire MidPen Broadcasting team, I'm John.